In this video, I'd like to extend a sketch activity that was developed in a separate video. The activity as it stands now asks a student to draw a circle given the standard form equation of that circle. What I'd like to add is a table that asks the student to share some characteristics. So there'll be two columns in this table. The first one I'll say characteristics. The second I'll say your answer. And I'm going to ask the student to identify the center and radius of the circle. And then there'll be a row where we ask for the center and a row for the radius. And let me change the formatting of that column to format as text. Now previewing the activity, we can see that the student has a space to enter the center of the circle, negative 3, 1, and the radius of 5. It'd be nice to add a way to evaluate that input automatically and perhaps to provide the student with some feedback on that input as well. So let's go back to our main screen here. I want to go to the computation layer for the table, and I can enter a couple variables, center correct and radius correct. And to define those, I want to gather input from the table and compare it with what the value should be. So the center should be expressed as an ordered pair. So let me create another variable called center. And I want to choose parse an ordered pair from the cell content of this table. So I didn't give the table a name, but I can refer to it as this with the alias this. And the center would be in the first row, second column. And then to define the center correct variable, which is a Boolean variable that will either be true or false, I want to create a numerical value from the x coordinate of center and compare that to negative 3. I want that to equal negative 3. And at the same time, the numerical value of the y coordinate of the center ordered pair should equal 1. For the radius, this time I can reference the table, and what should be there is just a numeric value. So I can choose the source cell numeric value from row 2, column 2, and I want that to equal 5. And now I can define the sink called correct to be the center being correct and the radius being correct. And now there's one more thing I want to do in the computation layer for the sketch. I want to define read only as true. So if we take a look at the activity now and enter in that ordered pair, and the radius value of 5, we see the dashboard preview will show a check mark. So this provides the teacher with some quick insight into the student's work. We could also provide the student with some information about their progress by adding another column labeled correct, question mark, and then we could provide input based on their responses. So going back to the computation layer, let me create cell content, uh, 1, 3, the first row, third column, when this is the row for the center, when the center is correct, we could say correct, and otherwise, maybe just something blank, or you could say incorrect there if you'd like. And then similarly, the cell content for row two, column three, when the radius is correct, 
we would say correct. And otherwise, perhaps two dashes as a filler. And before we preview, let me change this to be formatted as a text, since it's presenting text. And let's take a look this time. So now if I enter negative 3 comma 1, I can see that that's the correct response as the student, and 5 again. Of course, don't forget to save your work or publish your activity. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.